Good morning. How much are these model kits? Are those yours? No. Okay. Um, are you interested in all of them? Yeah, I have a one, two, three, four, probably these five here. Um, I'm negotiable. How do you feel about, um, 20 for all of them? Sure, I'll do it. Okay, great. There you go, thank you. Thank you, enjoy good, them. Good luck with your sale. Thank you, appreciate that. Good morning. Hey, Daddy. Yeah, buddy. Come look over here. Come look over here. Whoa, that's cool, Sawyer. Yeah. I noticed the uh, inside of this is all peeling out real bad. Would you do five on that? Sure. Okay, thank you. Does that pay pilot? Yes. It's her gun cell. Oh. <laughs> Understandable. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's going to end up Good morning. Good morning. I need a disco ball. You want to buy it? You got money. How much is it? You can ask. I don't want to ask. <laughs> it's a dollar. Okay. Just a dollar. You want to buy it with your money? It's a disco ball white. Mm. Got a lot of sensey. Daddy, yeah, if I buy it, then you're going to have to give one of, one of your dollars back. Oh my gosh. These okay. are so cool. How much Daddy. is this one? What do you think, what, what would you offer me if you were looking at it? You probably know these prices better than I do, since you're the right. sensey collector. I'm going to tell you what I paid for it, and you tell me what you think it's worth. Are you, are you trying to get rid of everything today? Yeah. Are you? I'm working towards it. I'm an active consultant, but this is stuff I've had for gotcha. quite some time. So gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. What would you take for all the warmers, like everything you've got on the back row here? If I just bought it all, I probably have to do some calculations. Okay. Yeah. If you want to figure it up, okay. I'd be interested in everything depending on the price. I think for all the warmers, five hundred, and I'll throw in both buddies. And that would I'd say is probably. Half or less off. Gotcha. Would you go 400? Like 400 without the buddies. What'd you do? Uh, 450 with the buddies. Okay. Right. You've got a Venmo. It's perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck with your sale. Thank you. Hello. Good morning. Would you take 10 for your trains? Yeah, sure. Okay. Cool. There you go. Thanks. Okay. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Good one. Good morning. Good morning. It, it is. is. <laughs> I'm so glad it's not hot like right. the last time. Would you take five for your Lego? Nope. It's never even been opened. <laughs> Would you go eight? Sure. Okay. Thank you for the ones. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Good luck with your sale. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, pups. Hi. You the greeters? Hi. Hi. Beautiful dogs. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You're you're right in the right place. You, you back up about a foot and a half. They're not coming towards you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. You come in and. 
Autobahn birds. Hmm. Hey. Coda. How much are your stuffed animals? Well, a dollar. Dollar each? Yeah. yeah squeeze the back. They're, they're 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 tall. Tall. Oh, that they're is tall. so cool. What'd you do? 20 bucks for all of them? Um. Let's see here. About 30, because there's about 40 in there. Sure, I'll do it. All right. There you go. Thank you so much. You got it. You want your tote back? No, I take the bin. Appreciate it. Uh, here's the lid for it, too. Oh, cool. Thanks so much. You got it. Good luck with your sale. Thank you. It's a Monday morning. I'm just now getting around to recording the end of this video. We found so much stuff at the garage sales on Saturday. We were only out for about three hours, but it seemed like almost every single sale we went to, we were finding stuff. I got it all pulled out. I'm gonna show you what I bought. I got these hockey skates at one sale and working at a sporting goods store for 10 years, I have a pretty good eye for hockey skates, but I've never ever seen this brand before. It's a uh, Salming or Salming, I don't know, S-A-L-M-I-N-G. Model is F1. I could tell they were a really nice skate just by the feel of them. And uh, this is a pretty unique chassis or whatever you call it. I don't know. So I knew they were unique, rare. I didn't know if they were necessarily valuable. I asked how much they were and how much this uh, TI-84 Plus calculator was because it was at the same sale. And he said, give me 10 for the skates and you can have the calculator. I was like, absolutely. I thought this was sealed originally, but it has been opened. But even still, like used, these things are going for like 40 bucks. As far as these skates go, the only sold comp I could find is way back from 2009. And they sold for like 150 bucks, but I don't know if those were new or what. So I'll list these for, I don't know, 100, 150 and just hope for the best. Take best offers. Uh, but yeah, 10 bucks. Couldn't go wrong with those. I got a bunch of models of different stuff at a couple sales. I got the uh, Stealth Fighter. That's the one I'm going for like 10 bucks. USS Missouri is going for between 15 and 20 bucks. Let's see, I got Apache Helicopter. That's going for about 20. And then I got these models at one of the first sales we went to, Wing Gundam. Um, these look an awful lot like Transformers, but I think it's actually the Gundam brand or franchise. I really don't know. I got one, two, three, four, five of those for 20 bucks. And these bigger ones are going for around $50 each. So that was a really good buy. I got the uh, board game Catan or Catan, doing the plastic for 10. That's going for about 25 or 30. I got Lego Advent Calendar. Uh, it's been used, but I think I can just sell the minifigures out of there for a little bit of money. I got this massive lot of Scentsy warmers, the wax warmers. Seemed like the lady was some kind of dealer or something like that and had a bunch of them. I think a lot of these she had collected personally. And I was like, you know what, let's just make a deal on all these because she had some really cool Disney ones that had some decent value to them. So... I got 20 warmers. I think it's about 20 of them. We ended up settling on $450. And some of these will definitely bring some good money. Like she's got this cool Disney drive-in one. Let's see. This is Nightmare Before Christmas. I think this one's only going for about 30 or 40. This is like some kind of plug into the wall type thing. The Disney Up one over here. This one's going for about 50 or 60. Same with the uh, Harry Potter platform warmers just some really really cool pieces i don't think i'm gonna get super rich off of these but i do think there's a couple hundred dollars in profit to be made even after the uh ebay fees and everything here's a winnie the pooh honey jar one keep an eye out for these sensi warmers i've sold so many of these things over the years and a lot of times when they retire them the value can go up so if you can get them for cheap i'm constantly finding these things i'm always reminding you guys to buy them or at least look them up when you see them and see what they're going for it's very rare that i find compound bows and when i do they're usually some kind of cheap chinese junk brand but this one right here is a hoyt xt 2000 at least i think that's what it is let's see here let's see ultra tech where's that there we go hoyt usa xt 2000 this thing's in pretty good shape and it's got a few accessories with it. I don't do a ton with this stuff, but when I find it for a good price, I pick it up. I paid a hundred bucks for this one 
and I saw sold comps between like 200 and 400 bucks. So there should be some pretty decent profit to make on that one. I got some Monster High dolls for a dollar each. I don't know why, but when I saw these, I was immediately thinking they were Bratz dolls for some reason, because I've done really well selling Bratz dolls. I do think that Monster High dolls can have a little bit of value, but nothing like the Bratz dolls. I've done auctions for just random Bratz dolls, and every time they do really, really well. Seems like I'm getting seven, eight, nine, ten dollars a doll when I'm selling Bratz dolls. So we'll see how these do. I really don't know anything about these. Typically, when I buy these kinds of things, I just throw them up for auction and start it at a dollar and let the uh, bidders decide what they're worth. Got this Lego Friends. I paid eight dollars for this, and it's going for around thirty to forty. I bought this Franklin Covey. Uh, let's see, this is Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. This is kind of like a planer thing. Franklin Covey can have some pretty good value. I got it for a dollar. Turns out this really isn't worth much at all. That was just a bad buy. I got this Killer Play School Express train set. There was a really old sticker on there that said $15 never used. Maybe that's from when they bought it because it looks like some of the pieces have been taken out and played with. Paid $10 for this. Sales comps are around $100 to $150. Got this killer Bell Custom 500 helmet. The inside is in real bad shape, so that's gonna hurt the value, but these old riding helmets, believe it or not, can have some really good resale value. Couldn't find the same color. I saw similar ones going for around 50 or 60, but mine is pretty shredded on the inside. So realistically, 30 bucks. I'm not sure what that'll go for. Got some Winnie the Pooh bookends for I think 10. I'm pretty sure I paid 10 bucks for these. Those are selling around 40 or 50 bucks. And last but certainly not least, I bought a tote full of Wild Republic Bird Plush. These right here I've already listed and labeled and everything. And uh, these right here, I'm just going to bulk up. I'm going to do like big bulk lots with these. These actually make the noises of the birds. Well, at least some of them do anyways. Pretty cool. I got all these for 30 bucks and I've already sold three of them. I sold two for like $80 each and then one for $30 to one buyer. So this is going to turn out to be a really good buy. Keep an eye out for these Wild Republic Audubon birds. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>